What's up YouTube, it's your boy Eardrum Assassin. Today we're gonna to be talking about subwoofers and inverting them. How, why, is there a reason? Let's find out. What's up everybody? Here we are in the back of my 2006 Scion XB. I am running an audio pipe 1500. Don't mind the mess. I ripped everything out. I need to clean this thing up. But anyways, running an audio pipe 1500 on a kicker L712 on a Concepts Designs enclosure. The enclosure is half decent. It's double baffled on top, flush mount. There is a little bit of excess space around it. I don't care. It's not, not a big deal to me. Now, today we're discussing subwoofers and inverting them. Inverted subwoofer. Why would you do it? Well, there's actually quite a few reasons why you would and why you should sometimes, such as enclosure. If your enclosure is kind of small for your subwoofer, you can always invert the subwoofer. Gains you all that airspace inside the enclosure instead of the subwoofer displacement taking up that space you now have a little bit more usable space a lot of enclosures don't know the difference between roughly a quarter cube plus or minus so i mean you have a little leeway with stuff but if you're designing like sixth orders or something you need to be pretty dead on point with that stuff another reason why you'd want to invert your subwoofer is for cooling as you can see, the new L7 has very small pole vent holes. Yes, that is cooling. You can hear the air whistling through it when it's playing. Um, it does help the voice coil cool. So inverting your subwoofer keeps it from using the stagnant air that's inside the enclosure, which usually gets hot because the subwoofer is venting its air into it. So... There's a lot of hot air building up inside your enclosure, believe it or not. Does inverting your subwoofer make a difference in the sound? Some people say they can hear the difference. I personally cannot. Now, what you can do is you can wire your subwoofer out of phase. So instead of having the positive hooked up to the positive, you hook the positive up to the negative. And what that'll do is it'll push when it's supposed to pull and it'll actually reverse the polarity on the subwoofer. Okay, that I've done that already. I didn't notice too much a difference. Um, no sound quality difference, no SPL difference, nothing. The subwoofer just moved backwards. Um, a lot of times, if you're running multiple subs and you want to invert one and have the other traditionally mounted, you would wire out of phase the one that's inverted. So that way they would push, both push at the same time and pull at the same time instead of being out of phase, one out of phase, because then it would just basically cancel itself out. Another reason to invert your subwoofer is sometimes if you buy, say, a prefab enclosure and you have subwoofers that don't fit the cutout, what you can do is usually the cutout is large enough for the surround to fit through and you can invert your subwoofer and now you can use that enclosure that you weren't able to use before because your subwoofer frame was possibly too big. The, the cutout was just made for a generic subwoofer and your subwoofer didn't fit. So now you have a usable enclosure and usable subwoofers. So guys, there's some explanations on invert in your subwoofer, what to do, how to do it. Um, sometimes if you're surround, like the Kicker L7 has a solid top frame um, it doesn't have like the normal traditional rubber gasket going around it, but they did put this little gasket on the bottom of the frame for no mounting normally, but mine's inverted. There is carpet inside there, so I wasn't worried about it. We're pretty good. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It really helps the video. Comment below if you have any questions about inverting subwoofers or if you inverted your subwoofers. And uh, let me know what you think about it. Peace out.